Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the police are still searching for the driver of the garbage truck which overturned crushing seven-year-old Benjamin Bear to death on the Clancarty Primary School compound on Monday afternoon. The Prime Minister has announced changes to prevent such an incident from happening again to include improving, to improving the, medical, the mechanical standards of garbage trucks. Andrew Holness and several political representatives visited the school on Tuesday as grief counseling began for students and teachers still in disbelief about what's happened. Now, TVJ News has full coverage of the issues arising from this tragic incident. But first, a mother's grief. We begin with a look at how the mother and family of the deceased seven-year-old boy are coping. Novlet McLeod hugs her daughter, tears streaming down her face. No relation to deceased seven-year-old Benjamin Bear, but Monday's tragedy has left the parents of students at Clancarty Primary School heartbroken. To lose a loved one is not easy. It's not easy, and especially a child that don't even... Oh, my God. That... I can't finish a contrasting scene at Lower Ivy Road in St. Andrew. It's where little Benjamin lived. He was the only son to Jaffine Campbell. She won't get to hug him again. Instead, Tuesday, she held on to a relative as the reality of her son's death continued to sink in. Through the prayers and singing, there was only one thing on her mind. Oh, God. We can't accept it. Bring back my baby in their school. We see to it that he go to school. He go to school. Oh, God. Wayne Williams is Benjamin's stepfather. As was customary, he arrived at the school Monday to pick him up. When I reached at the, the school, I saw the crowd, but I thought there was something keeping over there, which I don't know about, so I said, I'm going to find out and say something happened over there. So I'm part of the vehicle and go back on my ear and say, a little boy and a little girl meet. So I'm going to ask the description and I'm saying, I ask if I'm ear plot up and say, yeah. So right away, I just know not see him because he's in spot that him sit down, supposed to sit. Mr. Williams reflected on the relationship he had with the seven-year-old whom he considered his son. I have him from three years now, my meter. I teach him to count by using rhymes. As I reach home, the first thing I take out him is him home her book. I'm going to give it to her and say, deal with this. I'm going to come in the evening. I'm going to finish the rest if it's not finished. I'm not giving her trouble. I'm not giving her trouble. I'm, not, I'm just obey. Even though I'm not really there, but I'm just up here. I'm just see me as a father. Mr. Williams and Miss Campbell have a three-month-old girl, and in addition to Benjamin, Miss Campbell has an eight-year-old daughter. Acting Chief Education Officer Cassan Troop says the family will receive counseling. Our counseling team will be visiting the home to provide the support.